In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the Swagger Open API Editor in Represent API Studio. I'll start by creating a new Represent project with a Swagger spec, and then I'll add to the boilerplate code in order to demonstrate the editor's capabilities. Finally, we'll look at ways to customize the color scheme, block highlighting, and code templates to fit your preferred style. New Swagger models contain a description of a simple API as a starting point for your own model. It has one resource representing a tax filing. This resource has a get method to retrieve a tax filing by its ID. Block highlighting is turned on by default. This helps you to see code blocks and scopes. And you can turn it on and off here. I'll begin by using Code Assist to add contact details to the information section. I place the cursor in the location where I want to add some code and press Control Space on Windows or Command and Space on a Mac. The suggestion list appears in a pop up window. If I start typing, the list is filtered to show matching suggestions. Keyword suggestions defined by the schema use a gumdrop icon, while template suggestions defined as Eclipse code templates appear with a code snippet icon. Next, I'll use a code template to add a patch method to this resource for updating a tax filing object. Templates contain variables where I can specify values. Press the Tab button to move on to the next variable. This template assumes that the patch data will be in the body of the request. When I'm done, I hit Enter to accept the values and complete the template. There we go. The new method has been added. The Swagger editor has on-the-fly validation, so you'll find out quickly if you've made a mistake in your code. Errors are given red markers in the margin here. If you hover on the marker, you get a preview of the error. And if you click it, you'll go to the error. You may find the error marker on the first line of the invalid object, like it is here. We can customize settings affecting the editor via the Preferences dialog. You can change the color scheme used by the editor here. You can also change the theme used by the block highlighter so it matches the editor color scheme. We can easily update custom templates for Swagger and add more of our own here. This is the template for the patch method. I can edit it like this. Note how variables are added to the template using a dollar sign and curly braces. If a variable is used in multiple locations, the first value entered will be used everywhere. And I can add new templates simply by clicking here. You select the context in which the template is to be available here. And you can easily share custom templates using the export import feature. Thanks for watching this quick tour of the Swagger Open API Editor. Please see the other videos in this series for information on other topics.